How's it going guys? Grizzly here. Today we're finally going to be getting into soybean harvest and I can't wait. Here's going to be our brand new auger. Well, I can't say brand new because it's not technically brand new. It has been used before, it is second hand, but to us it's brand new, which is perfect. And I think I've got that lined up just right, I'm hoping. Oh, that was close, right. Let's just bring that in a little bit more. That should do it. Oh, that overdid it. Right, let's try now. Nope. Grizzly wrong again. There we go. Right. So, here's the brand new auger. Textures on this map are amazing when it comes to the crops. You guys will see it once we get to the fields. They look amazing. And as always, guys, if you're enjoying what you see, especially over the last few weeks, drop a like on each video that you're enjoying, of course. But also, don't forget to subscribe. And this auger is massive. I don't want to, I really don't want to hit the side of the road. I especially don't want to hit this fence, otherwise, it'll be a nightmare to try and get out. But. I am looking forward to this. So we're probably going to do two days of harvest. So we'll do corn one day. Or obviously soybeans today. And corn another day. Just so that we spread it out a little bit. But there is hopefully quite a few bits that are going to come to the farm eventually. So obviously once we've got the money. We can slowly start to upgrade some of our equipment. Which I think we kind of need. It's going to be the little bits that I want to focus on first. Like the liquid fertilizers and things like that. Just because... They were the things that took up kind of so much time when we were doing it. The planter was fine. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be the liquid fertilizer that I feel needs to be addressed first. Just because of the sheer size compared to the fields. It is just tiny. So I just want to get something that can upgrade it a little bit. But now that we've got this all parked up. Let me get this detached and I'm going to get it all set up into the silo. And I will catch you guys in a moment. Back with you in a minute. Alright you guys, that's it finally set up. It definitely takes a while and it does not like the uneven ground that we've got here around each and every single silo we own. However, set up now. It's all set up. All we need to do is bring the... So I've said it, I've used this all good because... What it would mean is with the JM, we can actually kind of tip on the side, so it's going to be a bit easier. Then, obviously, we just have to detach and use the truck. But this truck hasn't been used in a little while, so I kind of just want to let that run for a second. Same as the combine, so I'm going to leave that to run for a minute. And hopefully, if I just come under here, let's run through and get to the combine because the combine we haven't actually. We sat in it once at the very beginning, but to see if it runs, but except from that, we haven't really had anything much to do with it. So I kind of want to get that running as well. So at least it starts. Let me just give it a bit of a rev here. There we go. Okay. I'm going to leave that to run for a minute because I just want it to kind of warm up a bit. Um, we'll get the header out. That's something we can do for now. We're actually... To be honest, that's probably going to fit, isn't it? Oh well. To be on the safe sides, we're going to get it out the right way. And you know what? We'll use the gator for this one. Do we have enough space to get that gator out there? Yeah, we do. Just enough. Right. Let's go and get this quickly. And what I'll do is I'll give you a quick overview of the fields while we're here. So let me just quickly try and get this around the corner. Hmm. Right, that's all good. But yeah, as you can start, guys, see that the liquid fertilizer and the lime. More so, actually no, more so the lime spreader, I'd say, is the thing we need to upgrade. So we'll probably look to try and upgrade that with the money we get from this harvest. But let's start down the far end and work our way up the hill, I'd say. is probably our best bet. There we go, perfect. Right, all sorted. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try and get this around that corner, but hmm, dilemma already. Let's try and get this round. I just don't want to hit the window there. Well, not the window, the garage door. Ooh, sorry, Mr. Farmer. Right, let's head down here. So 
soybean field number one, however, we're going to go down a little more, I'd say. And then what we'll do is we'll try and back the edge of this up into the corner. This little grass bit here, if we can. Hopefully we can. And it'll mean that we can try and get the combine in a little bit easier to pick the head up. We kind of screwed that up a little bit. Right, let's try now. That'll work. Perfect. Right, that's done there. I'm just going to leave this here for a second. I feel like here's the best spot. Oh, I think I'll just pop the tyre. So that's all done. We've got header ready. Let's go get the combine now. So let's quickly run back up here. And hopefully that combine's kind of warmed up a little bit now for us to start using it. So just make sure we're not gonna we're not gonna hit our head, are we? No, but it is quite close. No, it's not. We've got space. Alright, let's bring that out nice and slowly. The last thing I want to do is break it when we're meant to be combining. Ooh, that was very close as well. All I saw, I was just waiting for it to disappear under the tyres. Right, here we go. Let's get going down here. I am still considering turning this into a field. Maybe next year we'll turn this big area into a field. I think that might be a good idea. Just so that we've got a bit more land to make some money out of. Right. That's that done there. Let's attach our PTOs. Oh, I think I need... Let me get these steps unfolded first. Right. There we go. That is the header set up now. Um, I need to try and get into this little bit down here. I think that's us all set up. Sounds good. Right, let's give this a little go. Oh, I mean it is definitely it's definitely a loud one, isn't it? Let's have a look here. Cool, that's loud, but it does sound good, doesn't it? <laughs> let's just leave that up for a second. Okay. So, plan is let's get this field done. And then we can get started on the rest. So let's get that going. Here we go. Very. F oh, we've already missed a bit. There we go. 135 bushels an acre. I'm going to guess that's an alright yield since it's probably not. I don't think it's the worst. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you guys know of anything kind of like a good average to kind of look for when doing we've been harvest but I think that's okay it I mean I, I it looks good I seem to be doing okay so far I mean we haven't you gotta remember we haven't got a big header either so it's not like we're doing 45 foot header I think we've only got a 30 foot header from what I remember so it's not the biggest however this does look amazing just the view of the fields in the background the corn almost ready Ooh, we've been missing some if I didn't care this much about money that wouldn't have been a problem but I do <laughs> right let's go back get those bits there all sorted there okay so this is the field there's a little split in the middle so we're going to do that other little split today as well and I think what we'll do we're going to get a nice little time lapse going so guys Join me in a time lapse and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, that is the first combine full actually. So as you saw so far, we've done the bit down the end, which is kind of separate to this field, and we're just making our second length back. But we need to run and get the semi, well not the semi truck, the truck and our J and M car, and then hopefully, I'm hoping we get like two, maybe three loads of soybeans. No, I'm going to correct that actually. 
two. I'm going to hope we get two. I feel like three we might. We're probably not going to get three. Because I think these both hold quite a bit actually. So I doubt we'll get the whole lot. But we'll, we'll give it a go and we'll see what we can get. 100%. Um, right. Let's try and get in there. I'm just going to leave this here for now because we're going to need it, aren't we? Oh, let's not hit the, the expensive tractor because I definitely need that next year. There we go. That's good enough. Right. That's been warming up nicely. That should be good to go. So let's see how we get going with this one. Oh, as always, guys, as we said throughout the video, if you're enjoying it, make sure you drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. It knows that I, it makes me know that you guys are enjoying the videos. And also let me know what you guys are enjoying as well. If you enjoy these kind of series a bit more, or if you enjoy more of our Marksville series, just let me know. And then when we come to a new series in the future, I'll know exactly what you guys are looking for. And right, let's try and cut in down here. Hopefully, I'm not going to get stuck. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping we don't get stuck. Yeah, that would be a nightmare if we got stuck. Um, I think we're gonna fit. Yeah. Okay, let's pull forward a little bit. Hmm, I wish we need to get some more mirror glass actually for this truck, and then hopefully we should be able to see a little bit better what's happening. Let's have a little look. Okay, we're not looking too bad. Okay. That's not bad. We've got a good amount. And as you guys can see, this is definitely, I would say, a red farm. When you think about the equipment we got, so we've got all the equipment we've got here. So the whole red combine. Trader setup is red. We've got the case tractor. The auger, the auger on the silo is red. The New Holland mower is red. What else is red? One, we've got a plow that's red. So, majority of the equipment wise, it's red. And a couple of green bits. But, let me guys know. If you're, a, if you're a case guy, or a John Deere guy, let me know. However, I think, we'll probably leave this one here for now actually. And we'll carry on. So guys, let's cue the time lapse again. And I'll catch you guys very shortly. guys we're at the last soybean field here however i hope you all have enjoyed that time lapse it's probably more montage i feel like i use the word time lapse when i should use the word montage let me know about that um there's only one problem is with the montages is as normal, we get the kind of nice drone shots as we normally do and unfortunately with that i can't do it here because we don't have course play so we can't have the worker do stuff while we get all the nice camera shots so i will try and work on that for you guys hopefully by next episode we should have a bit more luck in that sense of it actually working and some of you guys might ask why why have we got kind of straw coming out the back and that is because you can make soybean bales um that's a, that's a part of this map and essentially you'd be able to feed it to animals so if we had animals we could actually feed them that and or we could use it as bedding etc so there's a lot you can actually do with it another one is as well guys is i always like i want to implement something to the channel where you guys get a vote and i want you guys to be able to vote on what series we actually have going on in, in you know the channel so with that what i'm going to be bringing in is a vote kind of every season 
um, a bit like TV shows do, where they make the decision of if they bring back, you know, the next season of such of their TV show, and we'll probably do it a bit like that in a sense. If you guys want to see it, just let me know. If you guys want to see more Westby, you guys let me know, and I always will try and make sure that I can get around to it at some point. So once the season ends here, we'll have our vote, and we'll see if you guys have enjoyed it enough for another series. And then obviously with the next one, we can start planning it in and getting you know what we want to do done for the season. So I feel that might be a good thing, a good thing to bring in, so that you guys can actually have a bit more of an input because. I do see a lot of the time that people will raise suggestions in other channels and they're not always listened to. So that's one thing I want to try and remember to do at least. Try and do my best at least to remember to do it. <laughs> that's going to be everything for today. As always, if you are enjoying these videos, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It's been a good video today and it's actually our first ever harvest on the channel. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Hopefully we'll be able to do many more harvests on the channel and I just want to thank everyone so far for the support they've given us so far we are very close to 50 subscribers if not we might have already passed it by the time that I post this because I do record the day before posting stuff so we might have even hit it by then however as always thank you for coming and checking us out I'll catch you all in the next one have a good one guys peace